Welcome back to Albany County Fasteners, Fasteners 101. I'm Bob, and today I'm going to show you how to install masonry anchors. But before we do that, please subscribe, like, and share my videos. Leave me a comment, and we'll get back to you. Also hit the bell so you're notified of new videos being uploaded. So let's get started. I have here uh, a masonry block. And basically you can see that we filled it with concrete already. And this was basically to um, facilitate this video. Um, I have here different types of masonry anchors. Uh, we pre-drilled all the holes already. So I have the drop-in anchor here, which I'm gonna show you how to install. I have a wedge anchor. Show you how to install that. Sleeve anchor. I'm going to show you how to install the sleeve anchor and a nail masonry hammer anchor. This one is a lag shield. I have a separate video on this already. We'll put a link below that you can go to. So I have a bunch of tools here that you're going to need for each one of these types of anchors. But for all of them, you're gonna need a hammer drill with the proper bit, which in this case is an SDS Plus. These uh, hammer drills uh, make the job so much easier. So I recommend that you look into, if you're just doing a simple project and looking to renting one of these, but basically you can buy these hammer drills for about 200 bucks, but not a lot of money. Um, and then there are different types of masonry uh, bits. You have quad heads that have four cutters on them, and then you have single carbide tips. You can make that decision how much money you want to spend. The quads obviously cost more money. I have a hammer for all these, basically, almost every one of them, you're going to need a hammer. Uh, Phillips drive, screwdriver, and open end wrenches, along with a setting tool for the drop in anchor. So, all these are going to be used individually for these individual anchor applications. So, I have here a drop in anchor that I'm going to demonstrate the install. Basically, a drop-in anchor is made up of a smooth surface that you can see here with a knurled portion down here with these slits in the steel to allow the lower part of the anchor to expand. And inside, there is a pin that will be driving in after we drop it into the hole that we will set it with this set tool and this tool basically goes in and will strike the top of this and after we strike it you won't pull this out anymore this will be fixed in the concrete once you put these in there's no taking them out you're going to need to drop an anchor the hole to be drilled which we pre-drilled already and you're going to need a hammer so I'm going to drop the anchor in like so I'm going to take the tool before that I can put the screw in this and I can pull it out that's the nice thing about dropping anchors you can just drop them in and also make sure your hole is clean of any debris all right and I'm going to take this screw out I'm going to take the set tool. I'm going to put it inside the anchor and now I'm going to strike it. And then you get a solid sound all of a sudden which basically just set the anchor in place. So if you took a screw and put it in there you can no longer pull this out anymore. So whatever you're fastening to the concrete with a drop-in anchor, it could be this piece of wood. This is just for demonstration. Okay, there we go. All right, let's 
screwdriver. Fasten. So we're gonna install this wedge anchor. You can see they call it a wedge anchor because it has this wedge at the bottom. Then it has this shield over the the wedge that will wedge in the lower wedge as you tighten this up this will pull on that shield um, and you have to bang these in once you bang this in past this point you're not going to back it out again so the only way to get rid of a wedge anchor after you have put set it in place is to take a hacksaw or a sawzall and just cut it off so I'm going to demonstrate now how to install a wedge anchor and you can also see at the top here they have it they have this section unthreaded and they do that for a reason when you use the hammer and this is a tool you're going to need and you're also going to need an open end wrench or a, uh, a ratchet wrench you know with a socket on it you're going to need that is when you strike this with a hammer that it's not going to damage the threads years ago they used to have the threads run all the way to the top now they make it like a, a bull nose as they would call that um, that area that you see no more threads on the shank and then i'm just going to hammer this down now that triggers it's hit the bottom you hear that solid sound so it's hit the bottom. You're not going to pull this out any further. However, when I do start to tighten it, it's going to lift the wedge of the bottom of that wedge anchor into that sleeve, and then it's going to tighten and expand that sleeve, and it's not going to not going to come out. So now it's come up, I would say to you, about three eighths of an inch to a half an inch. It's now wedged in tight. I'm going to show you how to install this sleeve anchor now. But just to show you a sleeve anchor, basically, it's a wedge anchor at the bottom here. You can see the wedge, and it has a sleeve on it, which basically this sleeve has slits in it and it also has these cross cuts in the bottom here as you'll see and these cross cuts is what grips the concrete when you install it and this wedge down below once it's in place pulls up into this area and you can see the slit in the steel that it will allow it to expand. And that's basically how a wedge anchor, I mean a sleeve anchor operates. It's a pretty simple methodology. And you can install it this way. You'll need a hammer to install along with an open end wrench or a socket wrench or a ratchet. To install this. So I'm going to knock it down just like that and then I'm going to take it engages and locks down the sleeve to the outside. And that's the installation of a sleeve anchor. I'm going to show you how to install this hammer drive anchor now. Um, once you put these in there's no taking them out, okay? Um, basically, these hammer drive anchors has a slit down the center here that you can see. And once this pin drives down, it spreads that lower portion of the anchor. These are mainly used in applying plywood 
to concrete floors, things like that. I'm going to show you installing this piece of wood into this block and basically what happens is you put it through the material and then you're going to drive this pin down and when I drive this pin down it's going to spread and it's going to lock that piece of wood in place and I'm going to demonstrate that now for you. You need a hammer for this application and that's it. You can see I drove that head down below the surface of the block so if you put wood flooring on top of this plywood instead of putting it on concrete you now have a clean surface flat so you can install your wood flooring or a carpet so that head does not stick up above the wood so I hope you enjoyed this video I showed you how to install four different masonry anchors we'll give you a link below for this lag shield and comment below, leave me a, a message or a comment and if you need some help with an installation, we'd love to help you. Ask questions and we'll respond with some answers. Thanks for watching.